Hello and welcome to my video on the LG HG2 lithium ion rechargeable batteries. I thought I'd make a quick video on these just to show you what the cells are like. We're going to test them a bit later on for the capacity as well and also show you how to potentially spot fakes. Now because these cells come from the manufacturer who is LG obviously they arrive in large quantities so suppliers and companies that sell the batteries rebox them into much smaller quantities so you'll find the boxes that you get here are very much standard from different sellers they might have their own one that's perfectly normal and not necessarily a sign that they're fake they also tend to have labels on the batteries now a quick look at some of the specs you can see that this can sustain 20 amps continuous discharge which is quite high though not the highest on the market but you have a higher capacity of 3000 milliamps an hour I'd recommend charging these about 1.5 to 2 amps max now comparing these to the cells on the right which are torch batteries these aren't as high drain but they have protection circuits built in so you can't over discharge them short circuit them the batteries that we we'll have here the LG's don't have that protection built in so they're just a bit more cautious with regards um, their use it's unlikely to short circuit them um, size wise you're looking at about 64 millimeters now spotting the fakes I would look at the crimping at the top of the venting terminals the terminal should also be slightly higher than the wrap on the case only fractionally not pushed in also pay attention to the white ring or washer that shouldn't be smooth you should have a texture on that and it should feel matte when you touch it some of the fakes that I've seen have a smooth washer on them and they have poor crimping that's a good way of spotting some fakes now most lithium cells that you buy won't be fully charged out of the pack so you'll need to give these a charge I've also done quite a few charger reviews it's definitely worth getting a decent charger for these because you'll be able to charge them accurately and at a good speed on better quality chargers to test the capacity on this I discharged the cell in a special tester and this gave me a result of just under the 3000 milliamps an hour it's not unusual to get a bit of variation but that's another sign that the cells are genuine fake ones would generally have a much lower capacity these are very popular cells with vapors because of the high power drain that they can handle and slightly higher capacity but they work fine for other devices such as torches just pay attention that you don't over discharge them in items that can't monitor the voltage or cut the voltage off at the low state so thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe and also have a look through some of my other videos where i've been testing batteries and other chargers